It's absolutely breaking my heart, the situation that Neil and his family are going through. For four and a half years, they've been being sued by Tim Liggett, who is on the planning commission over there, who, as you heard on the earlier video in the meeting, um, basically wants to run this county as his own HOA, which is going to leave um, hundreds of families homeless right before winter when they've put all of their work and their life effort into preparing for it, and they have nothing, and they can't even have nothing happily because of what's going on in our country right now. This is not the America I was born into in the 1980s. This is a fire of Neil and Penny's possession. It is, um, they've been having to burn their things because if they don't have their land cleared for an inspection on Monday, to, on Tuesday, Penny goes to court and um, she could end up in jail for six months. She's a mother of six. She's the kindest, most wonderful person. I got this sunburn yesterday and she let me take a shower to cool it down. Water's really valuable out here. And uh, put sunblock on me, or um, like burn cream. And um, they've got a daughter who is just the sweetest, like most buoyant, resilient human being. And it's very, I can't imagine being a teenager under those circumstances. And um, if you look around right now, we have a house that had underfloor heating in it. Um, these huge, beautiful round wood timbers that were going to be in their living room. They have the structure they started over there that is now in shambles and in completely unusable condition because they've been sued for the last four and a half years and haven't been able to do anything with it. Their church came out and built a privacy fence because they were calling their construction materials trash. And um, as you can see, uh, some of the things that we're moving before we start what we're about to do, um, there's a pile of rafters that uh, are loaded up on a trailer that one of the community members lent us. Um, there's a whole bunch of really great boards and round wood on that other trailer behind the truck over there. And uh, we're still kind of preparing and burning things. Um, so what we're contemplating doing, um, a lot of our community members made a point that they shouldn't be able to do this to anyone. Um, and then they're going to keep coming from us. People run to Castilla County. It's one of the poorest counties in the United States. Um, people here live without utilities. They live without power. About the only thing the county does for them is grade roads. Um, houses that catch fire tend to burn all the way to the ground out here. And uh, so I think that what we're preparing to do is um, take a stand. Uh, a lot of our community members were advocating it. And I've always been an incredibly peaceful person. Um, I believed in working in the system, but I think we're there. Um, we're talking about getting porta potties so that people have a responsible place to um, to uh, go. And uh, the other logistics of it, how we're going to do food and uh, what we're going to be able to do to support people. But I think that there is no more appropriate place to take a stand than Kitty Corner from the house of the man who started all of this, the fire and um, destroying these really kind and wonderful people's lives. So um, what we're going to be doing is discussing um, what we can do to support a movement. A lot of people have been talking about mass civil disobedience. Well, if you ever wanted to be a part of something in your life, this is it. Um, we really need to stand up for our rights or they're just gonna keep coming for us until we don't have anything left. So um, I really hope that you guys will stand with me in this.